are gods, we are kings We march in faith cause we believe we can Change the world to what it needs Stand against our enemies cause we can We are kings demanding change Cause we believe we can So the question is When do you start your walk? with the Most High God and righteousness and understanding that you're an Israelite. When do you do that? Tomorrow? Huh? Yeah. You do that right now. Let me get that in uh, Psalms. Psalms chapter 119 verse 59. Bring it out. I thought on my way. This is David. And turned my feet unto thy testimony. So he said what now? I thought on my ways. That's LJ. That's my, that's my little brother's name. He need to repent. He, you have to think on your ways. Have you been righteous up to this point? Think about it. Or have you been the damn devil? We all been the devil because we're not keeping God's laws. Yes. Right. That ain't our, you know what I'm saying? That's just it. Have you been keeping God's laws up until this point? No, we haven't. Because we're not taught God, God's laws in the society. Right. We're not taught God's laws in our homes. Right. Our homes, most of our homes are ramshacked, single parent. We have no idea what God requires of us. So when we grow up in this society, we're not taught God's laws. Right. right. So now that you're being taught God's laws, you're being taught what your duty is, it's time for you to make haste. Read it again. I thought on my ways uh -huh. and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. So he said he turned his feet unto the testimonies of God. Read. I made haste. He said what? I made haste. What does it mean to make haste? to do it fast, speedily, don't waste no time. He said, I made haste, come on. And delayed not. And he did not delay to what? To keep that commandment. To keep the commandments, because why? You could hear these commandments, and by the rate that I'm looking at you and judging, you getting an understanding, you can walk away from me and be like, you know what, I, I understand that, but shh, I gotta go do this right here tonight. And then guess what? God can put you to death. Right. Right, right then, you can get put to death. Why? Because you heard God's words and you ignored it. Give me that in Nehemiah and cast it. Uh, find that for me, the one in Nehemiah about casting it behind their back. Give me Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because this is why we continue in our sin. This is why we continue doing what we haven't been judged on yet. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 11. Bring it out. Because sentence against an evil work. Because the sentence against an evil work because the sin is against the evil that we've been doing in society all our life because we've been taught this and nobody has corrected us and we think it's right because we've been doing this for so long, come on it's not executed speedily because the judgment is not executed right then when we do it, come on therefore the heart of the sons of men the mind of the sons of men, come on is fully set in them to do evil our minds are set on doing evil because right. we did evil last night and guess what, I woke up this morning so I'm going to go do some more evil today I might wake up again Sunday. I ain't get judged for a Friday and Saturday. Shit, I'm gonna do it again Monday. Right. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But because that judgment is not instant, we don't take no thought on repenting. Go back to Psalms. Go back to Psalms real quick. But that's that's not how our forefathers wrote. When God spoke with our forefathers and gave them a mission, our forefathers set out to, to accomplish the task. Right. Our task today is to teach you, LJ. Our task today is to help you understand that you are of a royal seed. Right. You have rights to the kingdom of heaven. Right. Read. Psalms chapter 119, verse 59. Bring it out. I thought on my way. Think on your ways, LJ. And turn my feet unto Then turn God. your feet to God's testimonies. Come on. I made haste uh -huh. and delayed not to keep that commandment. Uh-huh. Give me Nehemiah 9, 26 real quick. Because I, 
We have people walk by here. Half our people here won't even take a flight. Bro, what the hell is this? Bring it out. people are over here, the word of God coming out. We will get, we will hand them a flyer and they say, nah, I'm good. Are you good? Do you know what good is? Bring it no, up. you're not good. Right. You're still a slave here in America. Bring it out. You have no idea you're breaking God's commandments. You are not good. Right. Yeah. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 26. Come on. Out. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee. So, this is talking about the children of Israel. We are still disobedient. We still rebel against God. Come on. And cast thy law behind their backs. We cast the laws of God behind our backs. We've done this since our inception on earth. We've only had a short period of time where we say, you know what, God? We want to rule. We're going to rule the kingdom and we're going to do it right. 70 years, is that's, that's the longest we rule in our rightful mindset. Right. Read it again. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and yeah. cast thy law behind their backs. So that's what our people do. They hear the words of God come out like the sister that just got a flyer. She didn't even want a flyer. She only took it because the brother walked close up to her. Right. That flyer is going in the trash. She's just casting God's laws behind her back. Right. She just went down there and bought a big old come with a big, two big old uh, plates of food. Why shouldn't she be buying? Why shouldn't she be buying? It's the Lord's Sabbath day. That's, That's right. right. It's the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right, LJ. Today is God's Sabbath day. Let me get that in Exodus. Exodus chapter 20. Let me get that because our people don't know it's the Sabbath. We think we so damn smart though. We got all these dang old uh, ideologies and thoughts and uh, uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, e Egyptology running through our brain. We got no idea that you're gonna be judged according to this Bible. Right, right. Read. Exodus chapter 20 verse eight. Come on, Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day. What did God say? Remember the Sabbath day. Why does God have to tell us to remember the Sabbath day? Why you gotta tell us to remember the Sabbath no. day? Why you think? It ain't that deep. I'm gonna tell you why. Because at some point, we were gonna forget. Right, right. Most I already knew, at some point, we were going to forget the Sabbath day. Right. When did we forget God's Sabbath day? No. Yeah. We're gonna get that, finish that. Remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. To keep it holy. So the Sabbath day, which starts at Friday night sundown, and ends on Saturday night sundown, what? That's the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. When the sun goes down on Friday, that's the beginning of the Sabbath. When the sun goes down tonight, that's the end of the Sabbath. Right. Read it again. Remember the Sabbath day. Come on. To keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor. So you got six days to labor. Come on. And do all thy work. And do all your work. You can do all your buying, all your selling, all of the things that you need to do on six days. Throughout those six days, that's what you should be doing. Read. But. The seventh day? But the seventh day, what's the seventh day? It is the seventh day, but what day is the seventh day? Nope. I knew you was going to say that. That's why I had to ask that question. When you look at a calendar, what's the first day of the week? Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night at evening is the beginning of the Sabbath. Saturday is the seventh day. Read that verse up again. But the seventh day, but the seventh day, hold that sign, bro. Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Read. In it, in the Sabbath day, come on. Thou shalt not do any work. You should not do any work. You nor nobody in your house, nor in any of your or any of your people. Read. Thou nor thy son, uh -huh. nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, Come on. the sea, and all that them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So look, the seventh day is holy unto the Lord thy God. It should be holy for us. On the seventh day we should be chilling. We should be falling back from all the, the damn laborious works that we've been doing all week. Right. Saying thank God. It's the Sabbath day. Right. All praise to the Most High. Shalom, brother. The Most High, Christ bless. Bro, it's good to see you. Let's congregate. Hey, I, your week been hard, bro. It's been hard for me this week. Woo! But it's the Sabbath. Let's celebrate. Break out the strong, somebody. Hey, turn the music up. 
Right. Let's celebrate in the Lord. That's what we should be doing. But why does God have to tell us to remember? Because we forgot the Sabbath day. Right. When, did, when did we forget? We forgot when this happened to us. When this happened to us, we forgot the Sabbath day. Not only the Sabbath day, we forgot all of our heritage. Right. We forgot our land, we forgot our God, and we were reintroduced to a new one. This is who we got put in our minds. This is who we got introduced to us. With this came a doctrine. That's why when I said, what's the seventh day, you said what? That's what this guy teach. This guy says, Sunday is the seventh day. No, Sunday is the first day of the week. First Kings chapter eight, verse 46. Come on. Out. If they sin against thee. So we sinned against God. That's why this happened. Because we sinned against God, this happened to us. Read. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. There's not a man on earth that don't sin. Read. And thou be angry with them. God was angry with us because we didn't keep what? The commandments. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. And he delivered us to the enemy. Did it say that uh, our enemies decided they were just going to come and get us? What did it say? And deliver them. What did it say? Deliver. He delivered us. God delivered us, the children of Israel, to the enemy. That's so, right. the Bible didn't say that he delivered us to the white man. The Bible didn't say that he delivered us to the Chinese man. What did the Bible call him? Your enemy. Right. That's did he call right. your friend? So, who's the so-called white man to you? He is your enemy, brother. Right. He is the yeah. enemy of God. Right. Read it again from the top. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. Come on. And thou be angry with them. God was angry with us. Come on. And deliver them to the enemy. And he delivered us into the hands of our enemy. Come on. So that they carried them away captive. Did what? Carried them away captive. Our enemies carried us away captive from the land of so from the so-called land of Africa, which is the land of Ham. Our enemies drug us from this land to a whole nother land. Come on. Unto the land of the enemy. Unto the land of the enemy. Why? Because they had already came here and were conquering the northern kingdom. Right. They were coming here already, taking the lands from the so-called Indians. Right. Read. Far or near. Far or near. Come on. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. Yet, God says, if we bethink ourselves, if we remember ourselves, bethink means to remember. If we remember ourselves and remembering ourselves, we're going to remember the Sabbath day. God says, if we remember ourselves, come on. In the land, whether they were carried captive. In the land, in the land, the land that you're standing on. In the land where our forefathers were carried captive, read. And repent. And do what? And repent. And repent. Repent means what, LJ? Ask for forgiveness and, and turn away from your evil. Right. Read on. And make supplication unto thee. Make supplication means going to God in prayer and begging and asking earnestly, Lord, forgive me for my evil. Forgive me for my sins. Help me, Father, to be a better creature, to be a better follower, to be an example for my people. Right. Read. Unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive. Saying what? We have sinned. Saying we have sinned, Lord. Your children have sinned. We understand we've sinned now. Read. And I've done perversely. We've done perverse things in the sight of you, Lord. Read. We have committed wickedness. Done what? Have committed wickedness. All of us have committed wickedness. Don't think that we just sat up here, you know, we ain't never done no sin. We were probably worse than you. We were just some ignorant niggas in the street at one point too. But you know what? The word of God came to us. We heard the word of God and we repent. Right. We are in our repenting stage. No, finish that in 1 Kings first. Finish that. We have committed wickedness. Uh -huh. And so return unto thee with all their hearts. So now we are in the stage of returning. It is prophesied that one third of Israel is going to repent and turn away from their evil ways. Right. Two thirds is going to be cut off and put to death. You don't want to be a part of that two thirds. Why? Because God has a kingdom set up for you. Right. There's a kingdom set up for us. Where's that thing at too? I made my mind going blank right now. You know what I want? Uh, uh, there's a kingdom set up for us that you can't imagine. You see what I'm saying? There's something that God has in place for us that we haven't seen, but we can't even think of it. Read. And so return unto thee with all their heart uh -huh. and with all their soul. Come on. In the land of their enemies. So the Bible says we got to return unto the Lord thy God with all our heart, 
and with all our soul in the land of our enemy. Meaning you have to make a conscious decision, LJ, and say, you know what? I'm going to serve the Lord. See, people think serving the Lord means you can't have a good time no more. Two and eight. Give me First Corinthians two and nine. Hold that. People think coming to serve the Lord means that okay, dang, I can't go to the club no more. So what do I do, bro? Don't you know that in the scriptures we have celebrations that last seven days? Right. right. We party the whole week. Right. right. What's better, a party in righteousness all week long with good Israelite music? which is the best music on the planet, I might add. Right. Or one night, around a whole bunch of niggas that got guns, knives, with it, looking to do some ignorance, you might not even make it home the next that right. night. Right, right. What's better, seven days in righteousness or one night in evil? Bring it out, bring it out. Seven days in righteousness, brother. Right. I'll take that over anything. Bring right. out. Read. First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine. This is the kingdom that you have no idea. Hell. It, it's hard for me to fathom this thing sometimes. Right. Read. But as it is written, I have not seen. I, your eyes, no eyes have yet seen. Come on. Nor ear heard. Nor the ears heard. Come on. Neither have entered into the heart of man. They haven't entered into mind of men. Our brothers and sisters out here running around thinking that this kingdom is the best kingdom. I mean, thinking that this is the life. YOLO. You only live once. Do it up. That's what we say, right? This is garbage. Compared to what God has in store for us, this is a garbage can. Right. Compared to what God has for us, this is a dump on the side of the road. Right. Read. The things which have which God has prepared for them that love him. So God has prepared something for them that love them. The kingdom of heaven. He's prepared for those that love him. So we don't sit here up here just uh innocent, not knowing the sins and the evil that our people do, because we once did them. Right. right. We once did those things. But the word of God has come into our minds and we know that we need to repent. Give me Titus uh, 3 and 3. Titus chapter 3 verse 3. Bring it out. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We was foolish at one point. We got brothers here that have sold drugs. Brothers who have shot at, been shot. Brothers who have been to prison. Brothers who have done all evil. Been gang bangers, whoremongers. We have done all these things. Come on. Disobedient. We was disobedient. Deceived. We were deceived thinking that this right here was Christ. Right. Come on. Serving yeah. diverse lust. Serving diverse lust. Running behind every little woman, every little whore that runs past us. We did that. Come on. Yeah. And pleasures. And pleasures. We wanted to lay down with all the nations. We wanted white women, black women, Chinese women. Right. We wanted all these things. That's we right. did these things. Come on. Living in malice. And we in lived in malice, hating one another too. Come on. Hateful. Hateful. And hating one another. Hating one another. Can't stand to see another brother. Step on my shoe, I'll punch you in your... You get it? Bring That's it how we once were. But we don't deal like that no more. Read. But after the kindness and love of God our Savior, after the kindness and the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the right. black Messiah, come That's on, right. toward man appeared, uh -huh. not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy. So it wasn't by no righteous works that we did. That's it wasn't right. nothing good that we did. Right. Come on. He saved us. He saved us. Not because we was just these upright men just walking the earth. He like, you know what? That brother right there, you know what? Your name ain't gonna be nigga Chris no more. Your name gonna be Goliath. It means the voice of God. You know what I'm saying? Cause you a good dude. You walking up right already, so I might as well just place these laws in you. No, I was one of the worst niggas you wanna see in the street. Bring it up. I can say that now. I can say that now. When I look back at my past, I can say, damn, why in the hell the Lord choose me? What Bring the hell? What, what was I so worthy of? All this hell I committed on earth? You mean to tell me you're going to wake me up and place these words in my hand to come and teach the people? Why right. me? Why me? That's what you got to ask yourself. Why you? Why have you been standing here for the last 25, 30 minutes listening to me talk? Bring it out. Why have you been standing here 25, 30 minutes listening to the word of God? Enter into your mind. Right. Why you? Why you, LJ? Because God has saw you worthy enough to hear those words. Right. right. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Bring it out. Because God has found you worthy. You know how many people don't walk past it a day? Of your people that won't even take a flyer? Yet, you're still standing here. God has given you, is giving you this message. It ain't me. I'm just the vessel. I'm just the one standing here and the words of God coming out of my mouth. Bring it up. It's not me, brother. Read. 
Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Come on. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. It says that you, LJ, are holy people unto God. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. He did what? Have chosen thee. God has chosen you, LJ. You have been chosen by the Most High God. Word. Read. To be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Read on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Read on. The Lord thy God did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. Come on. For you were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you. Because God what? Loved you. What's so up? It's because the Lord loved Israel. Right. It is prophesied that one third, give me that in Zechariah, one third of Israel is going to repent, two thirds is going to be cut off and put to death. Right. I got a question for you. Where do you want to be at? You want to be a part of those teachers that go out and teach God's people. Right. Because the only word, the only way that they're going to hear this word is if we go out and teach them. Right. Read. Zechariah chapter 13 verse 8. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off. So in all of the land, meaning all of the earth, two parts is going to be cut off. Read. And die. And do what? And die. They're going to die. Why? Because they going to hear this word. They ain't, gonna, they ain't no Israelite that's going to say, I didn't know. The Lord our God, the most high God, is a just God. There's not going to be a reason for somebody to tell the Most High, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know. Right. Hey. No, you know. You knew. Read. But the third shall be left therein. But there's one third that's going to be left therein. That is going to be the remnant and those that realize, okay, I ain't black. I ain't African American. I'm Judah. All right? I'm Benjamin. I'm Levi. Because when you go to the kingdom of heaven, when, we, when the kingdom of heaven is rebuilt on earth, because that's what you say in your prayer. Do you recite the prayer? You, you say the prayer sometimes? Give me that, Matthew 6. Give me, give me Matthew 6. I'm going to show you something. Okay. We say it all the time in our prayer, and our people have no idea what they're saying. How you doing, brother? All right, what's up, bro? Hey, hey we're teaching the word of God. You got some time to come in? Not right now. See what I'm saying? Our people ain't got no time for the word of God. Yeah, I... I your people got time for it just on their own time. I read the word myself. Hey, okay, that's what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? This is what we're teaching, LJ. On my own time, myself. I'm going to show you something. You cannot learn this Bible yourself. Right. right. Read right. this. Read this real quick. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. But when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret. And the Father which is in secret shall be worthy openly. Verse 7, but when you pray, use not vain repetitions. No, I, want the, I want the prayer. Nine. Verse 9. Verse 9, after this manner, therefore I pray you. So God, so Christ said, after this manner, this is what you. This is what, how you should pray. Read. Our Father, which art in heaven, uh -huh. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. It says, thy kingdom come. Come on. Thy will be done. The will of God be done. What is the will of God? Keeping his commandments. The will of God is keeping his commandments. Thy will be done, come on. In earth. In where? In earth. The Bible says that the kingdom of heaven is going to be in earth, come on. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. So, if the kingdom of earth, if the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth, what does that mean? What is the earth right now? What is the earth right now? Hold that, give me Matthew 11 and 12. If the kingdom of heaven if the prayer says, in earth as it is in heaven, what is that talking about? It's talking about the rules, regulations, and guidelines that are in heaven are going to be established right here on earth. That's right. Right. That is what we should be doing. We should be making these nations bow down to this Bible. Right. Right. They should be adhering to the word of God. Not right. running around here polluting and diluting as the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. right. Read. Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. Come on, bring it out. And from the days of John the Baptist. From the days of John the Baptist. Until now. Until right now. The kingdom of heaven. The what? The kingdom of heaven. So John the Baptist was on the earth. Read it again. Maybe I'm confused. Maybe I'm confused. Did you hear that? Where did John the Baptist live? On the earth, right? Did he live in a bubble somewhere floating around in the sky? No, he lived where? On the earth. He walked the earth. Read right. again. And from the days of John the Baptist, from the days of John the Baptist, from the days that John the Baptist walked the earth, 
Until now. Until right now, LJ. Come on. The kingdom of heaven. The what? The kingdom of heaven. What is that saying? That the earth is really the what? The kingdom of heaven. That's right. For the Israelites. Right. Are, the, are the Israelites these people ruling in the kingdom of heaven? No. The children of Israel are in hell right now. Right. The kingdom of heaven, which was once set up for the children of Israel, has become their hell. Right. What's that, Isaiah chapter 5? Mm -hmm. Read, finish that. The kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. It says the kingdom of heaven, the earth, suffereth violence. Come on. And the violent. And the violent. Take it by force. Who is the violent? Who is the violent that's taking the earth by force? Who's the enemy? Huh? Don't be scared. Say it. The white man. Right. The so-called right. white man. And we say so-called white because he ain't white. The right. top part of your shoes is white. Right. You see what I'm saying? Look at your shoes. Do you see people walking around here look like that? No. So why we call them white? Bring it out. It's psychology. Right. right. They gave themselves the term white. Why? Because when you look in a dictionary, what does white mean? T. White means pure. Hold it up. Not diluted. But you look at black, what does black mean? Filthy. Dirty. So why do we call ourselves these terms? White, black. Because there's been a separation due to the etymology. Is that the word? Etymology? Of uh, 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 language? People that know white, they know that white means pure. I'm, 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 I'm white. That's how they, I'm, I'm white. You go to a damn restaurant, Put up, get in the line behind them, they move to the side, I'm white. Don't touch me, because you're black and you're dirty. Go to, oh yeah, back in uh, the early uh, 1800s, 1900s, you had two different water fountains. Right. White, black. Right. Because they know who you are. When they see you, they don't see just a black man. They see a God, brother. Right. They see a God when they see you. Right. When they see our men, oh, especially big men, they don't see a regular man. That's why they, as soon as we they roll up on us on the street, they pull out. They ain't saying, get down, freeze, hell. A white boy could go chase after them with a knife. Right. He would not get shot down. Right. Bring it out. But the minute that they roll up on you and they pull the pistol, you dead. Right. Right. They, ain't oh, shot yeah. you, they ain't shoot you in your toe. They could have shot you in your, in your knee. They shoot you straight in the head. A brother jumped the fence last week in California. All he did was jump over the fence. As soon as he started running, pow, head shot. They could have shot him in the foot, stop him from running. Right. Why don't they do that? Right. Because they hate your damn guts. That's, That's right. 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 They know who you are. Bring Free. it up. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, uh -huh. the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence. And the violent take it by force. And the violent so-called white man, your enemy that the Bible says, takes it by force. You understand that? Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. It says thy will, keeping the commandments of God, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is on earth. It's going to be set up for who? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's oh, right. that, you say, well, what about the other people, right? That's the question you got. Well, what about everybody else? In society, you have what? The ruling class and the serving class. So they're going to be there, but they will not be the ruling class. Right. We will be the ruling class in the kingdom of heaven. Right. That's right. Thus right. says the Lord God. That's Give right. me Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. Bring they have ruled that they are not entering the kingdom of heaven. If you do not fit one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, there is no rulership in the kingdom of heaven for you. That's right. Read. Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. Bring it up. And had a wall great and high. The kingdom of heaven has a wall great and high. Come on. And had 12 gates. It got 12 gates. Why, are the, why does the kingdom of heaven have 12 gates? Why? Let's find out. Come on. And at the gates, 12 angels. Oh, so at these 12 gates, you got 12 angels. Big black angels. Come on. You get that? Not no little song, little squirmy little angels. At these 12 gates, you got 12 big black angels. Bring it out. Why? You ever been to the club? When you get to the club, right? You got a little line right there. You got what? You got the regular line, and then you got the VIP line. What you, who you got standing at that door? A bouncer. These 
these 12 angels are the bouncers for the kingdom of heaven. Right. That's right. If you do not fit one of these tribes, you are not getting into the kingdom of heaven. Right. right. That's not my words. That's what the Bible says. Right. Let's read on. Come on. And had a wall great and high. The kingdom of heaven has a wall great and high. And had 12 gates. It has 12 gates. Come on. And at the gates, 12 angels. And at the gates, 12 big black angels restricting entrance and ent restricting entrance and exits. Come on. And names written therein. And so they, these 12 gates got names written on the gates. Come on. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So... These 12 gates got 12 names written on it, which are the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. What does that mean? If you're from the tribe of Judah, you are not going through the tribe of Ephraim's gates. Right. If you are from the tribe of Ephraim, you are not going through the tribe of Manasseh's gates. Right. You are going through the tri through the gate that from the that a tribe that you're from. Right. That's where you're gonna go. So if you're Judah, you're going in the gate of Judah. If you're Benji, you're going in the gate of Benji. If you're Levi, you're going through the gate where Levi is. Why? Because our lands, that's how our lands are going to be divided. Our right. lands will be separated as such, just like it was before. So all these people are like, oh, I'm, I'm saved and sanctified in the blood of Jesus. No, that is white man Christianity doctrine, and you need to repent and keep God's commandments. Right. Right. You need to come back into the understanding of this Bible. Right. Read. Daniel chapter 7 verse 27 Come on. It out. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints What? Read it again And the kingdom The kingdom And, read. Do, and dominion And dominion meaning power Rulership Ownership Come on And the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven And the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven The whole earth Come on Shall be given to the people of the saints shall of the be Most given High. to the people of the saints of God. Right. Who are the saints? Right. Now, who are the saints? Bring it out. Bring it Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Oh, so our kingdom ain't gonna never end. Meaning, when these people are back in rulership, when blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are back in rulership on this earth, we will no longer be diminished. Right. We will no longer fall by the hands of another enemy. Right. Read. And all dominions shall serve and obey him. So, oh, they're going to be there. They're going to do what? Shall serve. They're going to serve and obey him. They're going to obey our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, or it's going to be off with their head. Right. That's right. Period. You're going to keep out. the commandments, or you're going to die. Right. right. That's the way it's going down. Now, you tell me, LJ, do you want rulership? Of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us 
Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.